How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be simming the career of Mets first baseman Pete Alonso. He's coming to the league and he's really, you know, he's really caught the eye of a lot of people. So if you guys want to see some more simulations, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know which player you guys would like to see next. So talking about Pete Alonso in real life, he has been hitting the ball pretty well. He's at a 270 average. He's shown he's got some pop off the bat. He's showing he can play first base and has really filled the hole that the Mets have had at that position for a few years now. The only knock on him so far is he's striking out at a very alarming rate. He is, I think he's either the league leader or he's, you know, in the top five for most strikeouts in the league so far. Last I checked, I think it was 48 that he had. So he definitely needs to, you know, work on that, work on that eye at the plate um, and kind of cut down on those strikeouts going forward in his career. But overall, he looks like an amazing talent in the big. So let's hop into this. Let's see how he is in MLB The Show 19. So as per usual, a lot of you guys have been asking which rosters I'm using. I'm using the roster that is made by the user Raiden Rosters. So that is writing without a G rosters you search that up that's the roster i'm using so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep pete alonzo kind of lower in the lineup just for now since he is a little lower rated and you guys can see he's 72 overall 24 years old and he has some pop off the bat he has some decent contact stats he's got a potential the thing that worries me is he's got 38 vision so i'm a little worried that during a sim style career like where we're going to be simming it obviously that he may strike out Kind of like he does in real life. He may strike out a lot um, and that may hurt his um, development. That may hurt his average as well. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Also, I think his stats are a little bit low in this roster, but obviously they were made before the season was, you know, season started um, or at least within the first couple weeks of the season starting. So Pete Alonzo, they didn't really know what to expect. So just a heads up, Pete Alonzo could struggle a little bit his first few years in the bigs um, while we do the simulation. But I definitely see him becoming an absolute beast and maybe becoming like a little bit of a late bloomer, maybe in his like his when he turns 28, 29, 30. That's when we really see his big home run numbers and things like that. So getting into season one, let's see what happens. But I definitely could see him possibly winning rookie of the year. Maybe. I mean, he's got to he's got to challenge Tatis Jr. So let's see what happens. So season one, this the Mets didn't do too well. They didn't make the playoffs, but something went well for Pete Alonso, rookie of the year. Let's go take a let's go take a look at his stats. So it looks like he had a phenomenal year. He only went up one overall, but his hitting stats went up plus seven, plus six, plus five, plus nine. That's a big increase. Looking at his year, he had 143 hits, um, 24 home runs, 78 home runs. I think those are really solid numbers to see your first year. 20, uh, 276 average, a 336 on base percentage, and a 470 slugging percentage. Very solid. The one, the one knock, really, high strikeout number. More strikeouts than hits. So hopefully, you know, as that vision gets a little bit better, you know, Strikeout numbers go down, he gets more hits, gets more home runs, gets more RBIs, and his overall goes up. So still a little bit low overall, but a, a, an award season one is nothing to shake your head about. That's definitely a solid thing to see. So let's see how the rest of the years go. Contract-wise, he should be a Met until at least 2023. So we'll see how things go. But season one, rookie of the year, pretty solid. Alrighty, five seasons in and Pete Alonso hasn't really gone up much. Um, he is actually an 80 overall, but you guys can see based on the team performance of the Mets and also personal performance, he's actually gone down in overall. The Mets have seemed to go into like a, like a, just a, a tank mode. Like they haven't kept anybody besides DeGrom in terms of their pitching staff. And then when you look at the lineup, there isn't too much to get excited about outside of Pete Alonso, Michael Conforto, and Ahmed Rosario. Everybody else has left the team, which I definitely can see why. The, the Mets haven't made the playoffs, I think, at all. I think they did once. That was it. In five seasons, they made it once, and that was, I think, the second season. Since then, they haven't won more than 70 games. So it's definitely a huge disappointment so far, and that's really hurting 
Pete Alonso's morale and obviously his uh, his growth as a player. So looking at his stats so far through five years, you guys can see he's just under 100 home runs, 365 RBIs, um, 690 hits. And then when you look at his strikeout numbers, his strikeout numbers are just so high, which is a big issue. When you look at his average, his average is about a 257 for his career, um, 320 on base percentage and a slugging of 419. So I definitely think it should be better. I really think being on a bad Mets team is hurting him a lot, like a lot. You guys can see, I mean, he's already going down two overall just based on his morale. And that's definitely going to hurt him in terms of his growth as well. So when you look at it, he hits free agency this year. Let's see if he remains with the Mets or goes somebody somewhere else. And I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so Pete Alonso signed a pretty long-term deal, nine and a half million over the next six years. So they'll keep him here until he's about 36, 37. You can see he's up to an 88 overall. His potential has dropped a little bit, but I did kind of mention he could be a little bit of a late bloomer. So it definitely looks like he's uh, started to increase in uh, overall and uh, we'll have to see how he does for the, the the rest of his career season 10 again the playoffs were not you know not an option for the Mets they didn't make the playoffs once again still only made it once throughout this career sim for Pete Alonso you can see he is an 84 overall looking at his stats he's starting to decrease very quickly he has two more years left on his contract and looking at his career as a total, he has just under 1,400 hits. He has 212 home runs, a total of 718 RBIs, and over 1,500 strikeouts. So again, strikeouts are higher than his hit total, and his career average is 260. So I think, you know, I definitely think he's being like undercut in terms of home runs. I definitely think he's around a 30 home run a season player, you know, and he's only hit that mark, you know, once that he's hit 30 and then you know a couple times he's been in the mid 20s but i definitely think you know he's a mid 20s low 30s home run hitter um and unfortunately he's just hasn't really gotten to that i really think the team performance again is a is a contributing factor and you know you can see he hasn't really ever hit higher than 270 um on a consistent basis so that's another thing you know so unfortunately it's looking like he's not going to get too much better. His stats probably aren't going to go any higher. Um, and he's looking like he may be lucky if he hits 300 home runs. So, I mean, he, he may be lucky if he even hits 250, which it's sad to see. I definitely think he is a player who could hit two, like 300 home runs. But um, unfortunately, it just didn't work out with his career sim. Obviously, there still are some years to go. So let's see how the rest of his career plays out. All right, so I didn't get a notification for it, but Pete Alonso was traded to the Giants in the offseason. Um, so let's go take a look at him in the Giants lineup. I was looking for him at the start of this season. I didn't see him there in the lineup. And you guys can see here, he's going to be hitting five with the San Francisco Giants. The team looks pretty solid. So maybe he'll get a playoff appearance. He is down to an 81 overall. Um, so that's a little bit of a, a, a downside, but he was he was traded to the Giants. Let's see how the rest of his career plays out in San Francisco. Heading into season number 13 of this career sim, Pete Alonso has joined the Yankees on a one-year deal. Um, he's 36 years old, 85 overall. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, like I said, season 13. You guys can see in the second column or uh, the second row, it says MLB Service 12. So he's he's been in the bigs for 12 years. He was a rookie when we started. So yeah, season 13, after two seasons with the San Francisco Giants, he is headed to uh, the Yankees, which is kind of interesting to see. So let's see how this plays out. You know, he's 36 years old. I don't know how much longer he's going to be in the bigs, but um, you know, let's let's see how, let's see what happens. Season 14 and Pete Alonso not only made the playoffs at the age of 37 with the Baltimore Orioles, but he just won a World Series. So the first time since like the second season of his career, he made the playoffs and this time he won it with the Baltimore Orioles. We'll take a look at his stats that he just had. Oops. There we are. He's an 80 overall at the age of 37 and you guys can see kind of where he uh how, how he did how he did or where he's at a 267 average in the year 2032 19 home runs 
and 80 RBIs. In the playoffs, he hit 364 with seven RBIs, so definitely not bad. You know, he got on base, he had those hits. No home runs, but definitely a decent contributor. Um, I took a look at the World Series MVP, Michael Chavez won that, and postseason MVP went to a, someone who didn't even, didn't even win the World Series, um, but it was of the Diamondbacks who were in the World Series. So you guys can see that was season 14. It took them that long to get back into the playoffs and win a World Series. Actually, just win a World Series. It took him 14 years. So I'm thinking he's kind of towards the end of his career. So we're not going to start or uh, stop at season 15. We're probably just going to go until the end of his career. So I'll see you guys at that point. In the year 2038, Pete Alonso finally hangs up the glove and as you can see at the age of 44 he is a 47 overall it's i think he's been in the free agency pool for like three years at this point oh four four years actually so he's he's been out of the game for a few years and uh the last team he played for was the washington nationals he played 52 games and had an average of 272 with five home runs and 19 rbis he took a stop in cincinnati prior to that and then at 2032 with the Orioles, that was the year he won that World Series. Um, and then you guys, we already mentioned the stop in New York with the Yankees. And then he was traded to the Giants at one point. So as you guys can see, he had a few stops after the Mets. Um, most notably the one that he uh, won the World Series with the Orioles. But as a whole, you guys can see 311 home runs which uh, he hit that 300 mark, which is awesome to see. He had 2,133 hits, um, 2,186 strikeouts though. So he ended up with more strikeouts than hits in his career and his career average was 264. So, I mean, 264, I definitely think he can be a better hitter than that in real life. But um, obviously this is just a simulation. And like I said at the beginning, I definitely think he's a little underrated in this uh roster i think his hitting should be a little bit better to start off with and i um i think his vision's a little bit better too i know he strikes out a lot in real life but i still think his vision is a little bit better than what they have in games so you guys can see the stats we've talked about his multiple stops after the mets and uh let's see if he makes the hall of fame he does not so he didn't make the hall of fame unfortunately and like I said, I think I think in this roster he's a little bit underrated. I think he he definitely all oh also he was really affected by the fact that the Mets were just a bad team in this sim. Like they didn't they didn't make the playoffs, I think, for the entirety of the time that he was with the team. I think one season they made the playoffs. Outside of that, you know, he he didn't really get to go to the playoffs. They rarely even had a, a winning record. And the only award that he won was Rookie of the Year. And that was his first season. Obviously, he won the World Series when he was with the Orioles. But I think the entirety of his career, he only made the playoffs like three times. And two of those were not with the Mets. So, obviously, that is going to take, you know, some effect on your, your growth, your overall, especially since morale is down for the player. And that, that, does, that does affect him um, throughout the season. So, again, I think that kind of hindered his growth and at at some point kind of limited the potential he was going to reach so i hope you guys enjoyed this career sim with pete alonzo again in the comment section let me know who you want to see next and i'll definitely try to uh get that to you guys you guys have been asking for a pitcher and there 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 are some pictures on my list um that i want to get out to you guys but i'll catch you all in the next video hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content and i'll catch you all in the next video peace